Between July 4th and 7th, Rome will be the center of a special event dedicated to seminarians and novices from all over the world. According to the Vatican, the city will welcome more than 6,000 people from at least 70 countries. Most of the pilgrims will be youths, so in a way it will somehow be a preview of World Youth Day in Rio, Brazil. The train of celebrations in the Eternal City has been organized by the Pontifical Council for the new evangelization. I think that uh, the presence of uh, thousands and thousands of young people uh, in Rome uh, will be uh, a witness of joy, first of all, and a witness that uh, youth people today, they can be uh, once again uh, able, even with a difficulty, uh, will be able to follow Jesus Christ. The events will have a special focus on formation. On Saturday, July 6, pilgrims will attend a special conference to analyze the role clergy education plays in the new evangelization. I think that this is very important, but this is also important for seminarians, novices and old people, young people uh, who desire to consecrate themselves to, to Jesus Christ. Because uh, uh, formation, it means also uh, to know our identity. It means also to be able to go outside of ourselves and uh, uh, to be able of, uh, to be instrument of new evangelization. Many events are on schedule, including a catechesis session in seven languages and a special visit to Roman shrines. But the highlight of the event will be a meeting with Pope Francis on Saturday, July 6th. The audience will feature speeches by Father Robert Barron, who's known as the popular social media priest. Also on the list is film director Juan Manuel Cotelo, and in the singing department, their sister Glenda Valesca Hernández Aguayo. The Pope will conclude the event with a special Mass in St. Peter's Square.